Yeah, we're going to go get right into it. Here we go. Okay, Muffin, uh, Man versus Simmons, going to Dream Lane first. Given that a lot of room to run around, uh, but also a lot of room for Falco to lay here. I think I can hear it. I Immediately secured to death by Simmons. All right, I'm back. Sorry but, for uh, that. We just started. It was a near death within two seconds. Of my Damn. Well, that can yeah. just happen in uh, this matchup. I think yeah. as as hard as it is for Falcon to kind of get through lasers and deal with Falco's uh, hitboxes and stuff, when he does get in, he can kind of just blow Falco's stocks up, which is yeah. why I think this isn't like totally not doable. Despite that's, that's, that's the fun part of this matchup as a viewer. It well, makes it extremely frustrating for both players because on on one hand, the Falco is like, I kept him out so long, I'm playing so much better than him. All you gotta do is hit one hit and I'm dead. This is unfair. And the Falco's going, how am I ever supposed to hit him? How am I ever supposed to hit him? Yeah. What, what, what can I do? So both players are so frustrated, but it's so exciting for everyone else to watch it. Yeah. Blow up and have to use yeah. Um... And as far as players are concerned, Simmons is definitely the stronger player, so I would not be surprised if he manages to overcome yeah. uh, Muffin Man's lasers. Yeah. Muffin Man has not had a chance to laser. That's been the issue. You Which is wild because they started Dreamland, right? Yeah, so that's like, what I was saying. But it gets, oh my, yeah, Simmons just stayed on the entire time. So Muff Muffin Man's starting to get stuff going. Um, it's the Tyler Cruz combo. Yeah. <laughs> He's just so that's, reading his text constantly. Yeah, that, that's all it takes is it doesn't matter like how crafty you are. When you get knocked down, you have four options. That's right. And they can that's, just read one of them and kill you. That's such a beautiful thing because it doesn't matter how good you are, like you said, there's four options. And you want to read one of those options. Yeah. No. Um, so probably... Not impossible for Muffin Man to win this game, but the way it's been going, uh, it seems like it would be pretty difficult for him to get the momentum required. Interesting side B uh, ends up not mattering because he gets it back anyway. And we see a ledge dash, which is great. Yeah, I love those at you know this level. Simmons being patient gets that. Uh, oh, no that Lizzie stomp. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh dear. He was ready. Ready? Right into, okay, let's take a look here. Woo! I'm curious how long um, Muffin Man kind of waited between the games there for like the instant. If that was Muffin Man, I definitely would have taken a second three. They they were probably waiting between games, I think, before yeah, just seeing the there. replays immediately. That's true, that's true, the US send up the time. Um, FD. Reasonable counter pick, I think. Um, definitely suits Muffin Man's style of hey, I'm just gonna do exactly what he's doing right now. But this is the thing is like he's at a percent where he starts getting knocked down by stuff, and th it doesn't matter if you have lasers if you're in tumble, like you're gonna get schmoved on apparently. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he's been missing a lot of text too. I mean, that's been a big deal. Like, Simmons has got a lot of hits off of him. Alright, we get a small combo off a uh, stomp grab at zero. Muffin Man a little slow to react to to a lot of like the way situations are developing. And that okay? Uh, Alright, I think that's low uh, enough. Works, yeah. Yeah. Simmons is just having his way here. I mean to be quite honest. He used to like it's the combo practice. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And the, you know, that's kind of the Falcon problem at low level, is most people when they just go to beat up a CPU or like, well, Falcon's fun to beat up because he's <laughs> very heavy and uh, doesn't have a shot. Yet. Muffin Man also rolling out of the corner a lot. I don't yeah. think Simmons will ultimately catch on to that, but it's something to note because he's kind of just getting out for free. Also full hopping out of the corner like we were talking about. Slightly less good on this stage because of no platform, so even mm -hmm. if Falcon full hops, he has to come down versus mm -hmm. Falcon's like, up air, which is kind of difficult. And uh, Simmons kind of running away from this. Muffin Man having the issue of he can't oh, yeah. kill him. I mean, it's the same thing where Muffin Man just he doesn't have anywhere to go at all. He's just constantly getting beat up. He is. Um, and I'm, I'm noticing that his laser, like, it's not even like he's just lasering and then doing nothing and letting Simmons come in. He's like trying to get advantages off his lasers that sort of end up backfiring for a variety of reasons. But some level of frustration, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Like, that's kind of an example right there, right? Like, he connected some lasers, but he didn't actually have the advantage to hit with that Nair, so he gets counter hit. Oh no. He's just going for the he is. style again. Yeah, there's, I want that, there's an example of the laser thing back right there. I'm not going to wait for that at all. Yeah. Yep, I love the chase down on um, off stage there. Okay, to uh, where is Muffin Man? Where's he going to go? Is he going to go back to FD, you think? I think he's got to try Fountain. I think what mm. the whole like laser game is not, working, not working for him. I think yeah. he has to take advantage of the fact that if he gets in on Falcon, he can blow him up because defensively, uh, one of the nice things about playing Falcon is you often don't have to edge guard people because Nii is just so good that they die mm -hmm. outright. Yeah. Whereas Muffin Man isn't able to really finish Simmons off. And I think he just needs to be in closer quarters to make that happen. He goes back we're to going back. We're going right back. If he's going to do this, he has to be very disciplined with these lasers. He's got to change mm -hmm. something up. That's how he was. Okay, yeah, we already see that where he. Uh, shot lasers the whole time until yep. Simmons managed to force an interaction. So if he sticks to that, that could work out. I don't out know how I feel about the shine, shine, firefox though. It just seems like a weak combo that doesn't really put anyone in a good position. Yeah, I kind of agree. It's a little uh, weak for what else Falco can get. I mean, because it's like the, the up is not going to kill Falcon, you know? That's right. So. Alright, good defense. Oh, Simmons calling out that up B though. That's really good. Unfortunate that Rapid Jab trades with that Nair. Man, Falcon just oh. dead right out of laser. That was yeah. crazy. He's like, I don't care if I don't have advantage. I'm just going to start jabbing now. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like... Okay, this could be a big combo. Yeah, like, you're right. Because then Falcon gets to come down and then nothing else happens mm -hmm. there. Yep, yep, exactly. But he could have kept it going. Even if you do, like, a different aerial, you're more in position to follow up than, like, having to come down for your up B. Okay, he gets that to kill. I, I don't know if Simmons could have de that better, but at least he was at the top of the screen over 100, so it was a little more reasonable. Okay, yep. Big combo, edge guard. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. He had him cornered. He could have yeah. been back on stage. Yeah, he had some really big advantages there that he kind of gave away for like 40% yeah. damage. Um, He's in the lead, so it's not the worst thing, but again, no, you're kind of worried about Falcon just blowing your stock up and making it even. And I just think position is so important now. I think especially versus a character like Falcon. Mm -hmm. I mean, he wants to be able to move around freely, and if you deny him that, it's much more difficult for him to get anything started. Exactly. He doesn't have a shine, he doesn't have like super fast moves, they're just mm -hmm. big. Alright, and there's the edge guard. Tech chase, um, yeah, I guess that was smart to up air. I did not think that would kill personally, but... All right, oh, good. man. Muffin Man definitely looking better. This this is what I kind of expected from the get-go from him, although, like we've been saying, him not getting the most out of his openings is probably going to cost him, because Simmons is definitely getting the most out of his. Oh, 100%. And Simmons keeps using the side B, saying that I know that when you approach that you're going to approach in a way that's not going to be on top of me, it's going to be in front of me. And I can just use this move to call that out completely. Yeah. So right now, we got... Buffet Man's not playing around it either, no. which, is, which is very kind of like Arcadian level-esque, where it's a totally reactable option, but if Man. you're not noting it... Mm, yeah. I can't believe that's a go-to option on the shine. I mean, it's, it's hitting damage, but I, I prefer position, especially if he's at 122. That uh, Dare F Smash gonna clean it up. Mm -hmm. Because one of the hardest things in this matchup for Falcon is recovering. I mean, Simmons yeah. is like, how can you get back from him? And there's nothing that can put himself in position to make Simmons pay for being on stage ever. It's huge. Yeah, and, um,. I think there's a point in Falco Falcon particularly where when you get Falcon off stage, you can literally just rinse repeat him and he has no it's like playing RPS with one option. Yeah, and now really. it's, it's easier said than done, but at the, even if it doesn't work, oh, 
Uh, that was a even very unfortunate way for that to play out. Even if it doesn't, you don't kill him, you're going to get a lot of damage from the Rinse if you have it. Very late. Yeah, absolutely. Like you were saying earlier, it's just important to kind of realize that the damage now versus potential damage you can get in like after the yeah, it's a like, hard thing to, to risk for. It's a hard thing to weigh, though. It is, and it's something that you don't necessarily learn until later on. Because it's hard, like, if, you know, the sort of level zero thing is like, well, I just hit them, I'd like to hit them again. How do I accomplish that? But sometimes you can put them in a position where you get to play a very, very favorable mix-up where if you win, they die. But if you take that extra hit, you get, like, 12 damage, and then yeah. resets. Alright, muffin combo. <laughs> See if you can get this edge guard. Nope. Um, well, I, mean, I I would like to see him laser Falcon for down being because uh, Falcon doesn't Ooh, get his jump back if he doesn't like complete the down beam. Yeah, exactly. But he's just kind of letting him do it the whole time. Demon's success rate on um, on down throw tech chases has been a fairly high. I know, it really has. Um, and I don't know if that's because Simmons has a read or he's just reacting very well. Uh, but that's pretty much uh, one of Falcon's big win conditions in this matchup, I think. So, not looking great for Muffin Man. Uh, he really is, anytime he has Simmons in the air, he really just kind of lets him come down. Yeah. And I think that's been a big issue. Not putting enough pressure. At the very least, put yourself in a position where it's uncomfortable. Even if you can't hit him at the moment, put yourself in a position where he doesn't want to like come down on top of you, things like that. Make him move around. Right. Or, you know, make him worried. Like, you have to threaten things even if you don't want to commit to them. You can't just, like, stand on the other side of the stage. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah. And, and, and just Simmons kept running off the stage and, and chasing him. I mean, and he knew that he wasn't going to get hit for it. Smart. Good stuff to Simmons. He moved. So yeah, Simmons and Zave having won those matches are both moving on to top eight winner side. They're guaranteed fifth place. 